Hey guys, it's Toby with Coast High Performance, and today we're going to do some dyno testing on this 331 small block Ford. Now, this is our Street Fighter, so it's a cast crank, forged rod, forged piston combination. And uh, this one is going to be 10 1 compression, has a medium cam, it's 222 duration, lift is in the 540 range. And uh, though I normally prefer a set of 185s on a combination like this, it's got 165s, that's what the customer had. So we'll we just got to use them. Now in this series of tests, we're actually going to test different intake manifolds. We're going to use the GT40 lower and upper. Now this is actually one of my favorite looking intake manifolds, the tubular GT40. Uh, right now it has the stock lower, so it hasn't been ported. The second test is going to be the same GT40 tubular upper. It's going to have the ported lower. The test after that will have the Explorer upper, which is pretty close to this tubular intake. I believe it has a little more plenum area, so we'll see if that makes a difference. And the last test is gonna be a Holly System X intake. Now, all of these are gonna be tested using the AccuFab 75 millimeter throttle body to keep everything consistent. So let's get it going, see what it does. Hey guys, Martin here. So we're here with the 331 on the dyno. Again, this engine is built for boost, so unfortunately we don't have a blower on it. It's got a 113 lobe separation on the cam. And uh, we previously tested this 70 millimeter throttle body. And now we, uh, we have the 75 AccuFab on there. And you guys will see what the difference is between the two tests. Uh, we're ready to go. Uh, pump gas, 9.9 to one compression. Let's see what it does. I flooded it. I flooded it. There we go. All right, here we go. We're going to run it up to sixty two hundred RPM. here 417 foot pounds of torque at 4200 rpm 396.9 horsepower at 5300 rpm now you can see the difference between the 70 and the 75 millimeter throttle body it picks up a little bit everywhere roughly 10 foot pounds of torque 10 12 foot pounds of torque and right around 14 horsepower. Uh, you can see that the engine, once it runs out of air, obviously with a smaller uh, cam and intake manifold, we're going to need the blower to carry the horsepower where it needs to go on its trajectory. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that blower on it, and we're just doing some NA testing on this deal. Hey guys, we're back this time with the uh, Holly System X intake. So. Uh, nothing's changed. We have the same 75 millimeter throttle body, the AccuFab, but we did put on the Holly System X. Uh, the lower has been port matched to a set of 185 heads. We have this intake here at the shop because a lot of customers will want us to dyno test their 347 or 331, and the most common ones are the 185. So that's why we do have it port matched to the 185s. Like I said, these are 165 heads. Uh, the next one is going to be the ported GT40 lower with the tubular upper, uh, but the customer decided he might keep the GT40 ported lower and the tubular upper for last because eventually that's what he's going to run. So we'll just leave that for the last test. So let's see what it does. Martin here. So now we're testing the System X Holly intake on this 331 stroker. Same timing curve, 
we had to adjust the fueling because the intake is more efficient, but we're targeting the same lambdas. foot-pounds of torque at 4,900 RPM and 428 horsepower at 5,800 RPM. You can see that's a considerable gain there over the tubular GT40 intake uh, right after peak torque. See it made more torque. The tubular did have a little more torque down low but then the System X caught up and surpassed it by quite a bit. Uh, right there, we're looking at uh, roughly 40 horsepower, so it's, uh, it's pretty big gains. Uh, well, it seems that around 4,600, though, the Hobbit System Max was better. Yeah, even at 4,600 RPM is where, where we're crossing over right there. That's, that's where the System Max really shines over the GT40 tubular. Again, this is with the same 75 millimeters throttle body. Hey guys, it's Toby and we're back. Um, we've got the port lower on. We're going to use the uh, same GT40 tubular that we used on the first test. So nothing's changed. Same 75 millimeter throttle body uh, from AccuFab and uh, just the port lower that's been port matched to the AFR 165. So uh, let's see what it does. Hey guys, Martin here. So we're going to test the ported lower GT40 with the tubular upper, same 75 millimeter throttle body and the same cam, same settings in the computer. So uh, let's hope for the best. Love how that thing comes back to idle. Beautiful. All right, so uh, we're comparing the results to the unported lower. As you can see, we did gain a little bit there, marginally. Um, you can see that the air fuel ratio overlays pretty much perfectly. So we're confident that these results are good. Here's the numbers. Uh, 419 foot-pounds of torque at 4,400 RPM, 400 horsepower at 5,400 RPM, but it just carries it, just kind of keeps bobbling around there and keeps going. All right, so I think next what we should do is uh, test a bigger intake. Uh, so we got an Explorer Planum lying around. Let's see what it does. Hey guys, we're back. This time we've got the ugly twin of the GT40, the Explorer intake, which are at least more common, easier to find because they were on Explorers and Mountaineers. So it's become a kind of a favorite since the GT40 tubulars are kind of hard to find in. If you do find them, they are expensive. So uh, as we said again, nothing's changed, same throttle body, same, same timing settings. So we're gonna see what it does. Let's check it out. All right cast aluminum goodness right there ah it's ugly it's ugly let's see if it works hey guys all right so we're back with the uh gt40 ported lower and the explore upper cast intake manifold uh we'll see what it does <laughs> I haven't spent too much time tuning this thing as far as startup fueling and everything because, uh, well, they're not going to be running this computer in the car anyway. Then we don't have an IAC.
well, well. Looks like our tubular intake, the last run we did with the tubular intake, did definitely better than this ugly cast Explorer manifold. Looks like we lost a good amount. Uh, over here we're at uh, 10 foot-pounds of torque less, so 419 versus 409. And then, uh, well, our peak horsepower numbers suffered as well. Uh, we were at uh, 498 versus, oh, I'm sorry, 398 versus 391. So here's the tabular data. Peak numbers, uh, 409, 395. As you can see, just kind of still keeps it bobbling there uh, around those numbers. So Just not enough intake. Yeah, not enough intake. And it's, it's not a ported upper. This is still on the ported lower. Uh, but uh, it's ton of information for anybody looking to build a 331 engine. Uh, we're your guys, you know, we got everything. We have an in-house machine shop, we do testing, and a lot of engine development. So uh, consider us for your next engine build. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Toby and we're back dynoing this 331 small block Ford and we did a couple of intakes, throttle bodies, and we just figured out pretty much what works and what doesn't. We kind of knew what what worked obviously from what the intakes flow, but uh, basically the GT40 tubular made the most uh, low end torque, made pretty good power. It did carry it a bit, but it just wasn't uh, enough. It just doesn't flow enough air. Now the Explorer did the worst. We thought it would actually do about the same as the tubular, but even on the ported lower, it, it, really, it really didn't do as much as well. I mean, it's, it's only a couple horsepower, but uh, everyone expects the Explorer to be a better in upper, at least because it's a casting. Now the System X did much better. Uh, after 4600 RPM, the System X uh, carried that torque and made more power. Now the System X was ported. We actually have this intake because we use it on small block Fords that customer customers want to have dynoed. So we know that that was ported. That was pretty closely matched to the AFR 165s. The first intake, the first lower, you can see here, unported. Look at those narrow ports. But apparently that wasn't even the restriction. Apparently the restriction has more to do with the upper. So let's check out the lower, the fully ported lower. You can see here clearly that uh, the ported lower while it did help with uh, carrying the RPM, it didn't lose as much power after peak torque, it still wasn't enough. So you gotta figure the restriction is in the upper intake as well. Now I could throw a socket in there, that's for you Ed, uh, but we're not gonna do that because the customer is about to pick up the engine. But basically, don't use a 70 millimeter throttle body on a 302, 331, 347. I guess if you're gonna build you know, like a small 331, 347 in a pickup, something that you're just gonna have from idle to maybe 4,000 RPM. You could use the GT40 or Explorer intakes, but really these should be kept to a 302 cubic inch engine. So that's it for us. Uh, next time we will be doing a 408 Windsor that we did before. This time we're gonna be testing the Edelbrock Proflow EFI system. Thanks.